Hey guys, I'm going to share with you my Target and Marshalls haul. No beauty products this time, but a little bit of everything else and a ton of bathing suits because I'm going to Cancun with Matt at the end of the month. I could not be more excited. I've been like craving the beach ever since winter started, really. So I just can't wait. But let's go ahead and start with Marshalls. Marshalls has a lot of really cute bathing suits. I had initially intended to just go to Target and pick up some, but Marshalls actually had more that caught my eye. So I saw this one. This one's actually from Juicy Couture Sport and it's $29.99 for the set for the top and bottom. But I didn't realize that it was in an extra small. So it is a little bit tight, like this band does squeeze at my rib cage, so I am debating on whether I'm going to keep it or not, but this is what the bottom looks like. Really cute. I really am loving the sporty swimwear trend right now. And then I also got this one. This is a one piece and I really just like this like, you know, subtle detailing right there. It looks like that. It also has a strap right here, which would be perfect if I want to just throw it over my head, um, but it can also be removed. And I thought this one would be great for just like lounging around in or if I actually really do want to swim without having to worry about anything popping out or whatever. <laughs> so really like that one. And then the last one I found at Marshalls that I thought was really adorable is this one, also in line with the whole sporty look. It crisscrosses in the back, but I'm definitely going to return this one because it's too baggy in the chest area. So my chest simply does not fill it out and it just looks a little bit funny, but shame because it is really cute. This is what the bottom looks like, but this one was only like $16.99 for the set, I believe. Yeah, so that's a really, really good price. Whereas, you know, usually, oh, that's the that's the back of the bottom and the front. Because usually, you know, for the Target swimwear, it's like around, at least around $15 for the top and then 15, another 15 for the bottom. So when you find something for like $17 for the top and bottom, that's a good price. If you guys watched my February favorites, towards the end, I mentioned how exercising is one of my favorite things right now. Crazy, this girl who like never cared to work out at all before. Been doing it for about a couple months now and I wanted to further challenge myself because my body wasn't getting sore like it should anymore. So I knew it was time to incorporate some weights. So I got these five pound dumbbells and I just like how it has good grip to it. So loving these. It comes in this box just in case you guys want to try to find um, same ones. Okay, lastly at Marshalls I found a couple cute mugs and I'm just dying over it because look at this. Look how cute it is. It's like a lilac lavender color with white bunnies all around and it just really got me in the spring and Easter mood and inspired me to give my desk a makeover because it was really really cluttered before and I wanted to kind of springify it. <laughs> so this is sitting on my desk right now. I just have my earbuds in here for now but maybe one day it will be used for the purpose of actually drinking out of, but for now it is used as decor and I just think it's so cute. And then I also found this one with some gold detailing, sucker for gold detailing, so had to get that one too. And then I popped in over to Target and then I had to just look at the bathing suit swimwear section just because I was curious. So I saw this one. It actually is a little bit more washed out the closer I put it to you guys. So just to give you guys an idea of the color, it's kind of like a neon coral color, but I knew that this one probably wouldn't fit me properly just looking at the cups because it's like very large. So I was bummed out that they didn't have an extra small, but I really, really like this bathing suit top. Like it ties up like this for the neck. And then for the bottom, it's kind of interesting because it has like the strap here and then it also has like a stringier strapping right below it. So it just looks kind of cute because it covers a little bit more. So I think I might just return this and order an extra small online if I can't find an extra small in store. But I got this to go along with it, this bottom. It's like kind of high-waisted. It's a little bit on the busier side for me, but I do think it's really cute. I just thought that, you know, it's just fun to kind of switch it up. Once again, I'm gonna put it a little further back so you can see it more true to color. And then I also got a couple pairs of shoes, namely these sandals. They're just T-strap sandals. I like that it's kind of like a beigey, light tan, taupey color because it's the kind of sandal and color that literally could go with anything and will be perfect for our trip to Cancun. It has some bow detailing, which I just think is adorable. So I love these. I got these in a seven and a half when I'm usually like a size seven or seven and a half. These flats, which might have been a little bit of an impulse buy just because I'm a sucker for stripes and polka dots. And I actually sized up on this because my feet sometimes feel very restricted in flats. 
So sometimes I like wearing my flats a little bit looser. I think it's just because I have like an arch in my foot, but I got these in a size eight and it doesn't feel like the, it's not loose to the point where it feels like they're going to slip off. Like it actually really hugs onto the feet nicely, but there's just some wiggle room in there so that when I'm walking in them, it doesn't like squeeze on my foot so much. You guys know what I mean? You know what I mean, right? Anyone who has a hard time with flats, but I do think these are really cute. So let me know if you think that I should keep them or not. Lastly, the $1 spot. It's like one or $3 items when you walk straight into the front of the store. Love that little area because sometimes they have some really good stuff for so cheap. So going back along the lines of giving my desk a makeover, I saw that they had these like plastic um, divider containers, which I thought, oh, I really could use at least one of these for my desk because I always, have random little things just kind of like living around the desk that I wish had something that would help contain it. So, you know, for example, I already put some things in here. I have my tape measure, which is really useful for whenever I need to like measure myself or when I'm online shopping. And then I also have a little pair of nail clippers, nail file. These are like emergency items for a girl. <laughs> and then of course bobby pins because these always have a tendency to get lost so it's really nice to have an area that I can just plop them in and then know that I can find them there. They also had some really cute pens which once again I'm going to just um, put around my desk so that it just makes it look cuter and it makes me feel more inspired. So love this. this is like gel pens and then regular pens with some cute um, pattern on it and a journal which actually says journal in gold so love that I think it's a really cute color I also got these clothes pins which I thought I could kind of use it to maybe create one of those like hanging garlands and maybe have like photos or inspirational quotes or something hanging from them I'm sure you guys have seen this like on Pinterest and Tumblr a ton of times but yeah, I think, I just think like right above my desk, it needs something going on there. And then lastly, this is evil. This is evil that this was in the $1 spot. Haribo gummy bears, why? Why would you do that to me? <laughs> so I got a couple of these because I love these. But yeah, I already pretty much almost finished eating the other bag. But that would be my Target and Marshalls haul. Let me know what you guys think down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this and one really quick announcement which I'm kind of excited, scared, nervous about, but we are sticking with a Monday and Thursday schedule weekly. Crazy, right? So out of all the years I've been doing this, I've never, never committed to kind of a set schedule like that. And this doesn't mean that I will only upload Monday and Thursday. Sometimes you'll get three videos a week. Sometimes you might even get four, which I have been in like a crazy filming mode lately and I'm so happy about it. And I'm so thankful for your support and for those of you letting me know that you're excited about the frequent uploads again. So I'm really, really excited about this. Whew, catch your breath, I'm too excited. <laughs> What you can expect on Mondays is videos like this where I am literally talking to you, whether it's like a haul or a talk through makeup tutorial or a vlog. A lot of you guys seem to like that vlog I posted not too long ago, so that made me really happy. And then on Thursdays, it'll be videos where there will be a voiceover or music or just something a little bit different. So that's what you can expect for Thursdays. And that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I love you guys so much. Definitely stay tuned for Thursday's upload and potentially more uploads. I will see you guys then. Bye.